afternoon, everyone. Thank you once again for joining us on Fact versus Fiction. My name is Radhika Bajaj and with me today is Archis Chaudhary. Hi, Archis. Hi, Radhika. So, guys, uh, today what we want to talk about is sort of an example. When there is misreporting or misinformation, jati hai, how it actually negatively impacts people. Uh, so, you may have heard that an actor called Karan Oberoi was arrested by the Oshiwara police and this was on charges of allegedly raping and blackmailing a woman. This arrest happened in Mumbai's Oshiwara. Jiske baad, the media may uh, websites pe kafi jaga uh, you know articles around this arrest uh, uh, were put online uh, but unfortunately not one not two but uh, more than more than uh, two people their images have been used instead of the actor who was actually arrested so imagine if you have nothing to do with the case but your photograph is used to represent somebody who has been arrested for an alleged case of rape and blackmail it's a serious uh, you know uh, check really a, a serious uh, you know uh, irresponsible mm -hmm. uh, move on the part of those uh, who may have used these images without right. checking repeatedly you know whether they were using the correct image or not mm -hmm. so how many people have really been impacted by this okay so uh, at the end of the day for in the name of Karan Oberoi, there have been three three pictures, three different pictures. Hmm. So one of them was the real Karan Oberoi, hmm. and the two other pe people were completely unrelated to the in, in to the incident. Hmm. So basically, three pictures were used, and two people who were just kind of made to be involved with this uh, incident, while they weren't actually at all. Yeah, and that of course creates trouble uh, for those people who had nothing to do with it. Yeah. So one one was actually an American actor who doesn't even okay. live in India. Wow. And the other was a fitness and model expert. Okay, so how did we come to, uh, you know, figuring out that, hey, these are not the guys mm -hmm. uh, who actually are the actor who has been arrested, Karan Oberoi, but they just share the names, uh, is it the same name? Yeah, they share the same name and that is the only thing that's similar. Mm -hmm. So we were first like uh, given, like tagged in a, in a tweet where okay. people asked us to check, like, okay, multiple pictures for the same story that's going around. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, we did find like the profiles of all the different pictures so we did google reverse image search we found one Karan Oberoi who had an imdb profile and all his shows were all in based in the us and he was right. an american actor hmm. the other person turned out to be a model and a fitness expert hmm. and at the end of the day we got in touch with oshiwara police station okay who helped us identify the real accused okay who was basically the person who's quite popular actually was in popular shows like jesse jesse koi nahi that's the correct Lieberi. image that's the correct image okay. exactly okay so that's the real person and uh, we actually also reached out to uh, one of the people who wasn't related to the incident but whose picture uh, went in anyway hmm. who told us that it was actually quite a troublesome situation for this person yeah and a lot of people were asking him about you know what actually went wrong hmm. and he did contact one of the websites who uh, carried his image hmm. and the website told him to prove it that it wasn't him who actually did it oh so, yeah so that was wow, they put the onus back on the guy whose photo they had misused anyway exactly excellent okay so guys you know this is where we sort of uh, you know need to stand up for responsible journalism because this is these are serious uh, uh, you know uh, allegations on somebody yet to be proved but they are serious uh, charges and the person has been arrested but somehow there are at least two other people whose images have been used instead to the uh, instead of the real person who was arrested so uh, hopefully if you come across articles that are being shared online now on social media you will double check you know whether what you're forwarding ahead is actually the correct picture and the correct information uh, we'll wrap up uh, this edition of fact versus fiction on that note thank you for tuning in but do remember that our helpline number is double seven double zero nine zero six triple one and here's where you forward uh, any dubious messages that come your way on social media thank you very much for tuning in today